He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You have prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. At the time of Jesus, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. He called a little child whom he put among them and said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter kingdom of God. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. said to his disciples, you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and no man will be able to take your joy from you. And sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ we come in that blessed assurance we come in that blessed assurance and knowing that he he promised he promised will make it good I said I will guard my ways that I may not sin with my tongue. I will keep a muzzle on my mouth as long as the wicked are in my presence. I was silent and still. I held my peace to no avail. My distress grew worse. My heart became hot within me. Wow. I burn. And then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end. And what is the measure of my days? Let me know how fleeting my life is. Make my days a few hand breaths. And my lifetime is nothing in your sight. Surely everyone stands as a mere breath. Surely everyone goes about like a shadow. Surely for nothing. 
they're in turmoil. They heap up and do not know who will gather. And now, oh Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of a fool. I am silent. I do not open my mouth, for it is you who have done it. Remove your stroke from me. I am worn down by the blows of your hand. Your ch you chastise mortals in punishment for sin. Consuming like a moth, what is dear to them. Surely everyone is a mere breath. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not hold your peace at my tears. For I am your passing guest, an alien like all my forebears. Turn your gaze away from me. That I may smile again before I depart and I am no more. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, whatever you had formed the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past are like a watch in the night. You swoop them away. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning, it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening, it fades and withers. For a thousand, but we are consumed by your anger by your wrath. We are all waiting. Come now, God of all comfort, be with us as we stood before this mystery that we call death. You may be seated.
We have gathered this afternoon. This is the order of the day now. We have gathered this afternoon, first of all, to praise God. To praise God. And to thank Him for His gift of His servant sister Mary Tates. And for all the good that she brought into this world. We are here to praise God and thank Him. Can I see anybody give me a praise right now? Isn't God good? Yes. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The service will follow as outlined in your bulletin with just a few exceptions. The Holy Scriptures the Holy Scriptures will be read by Reverend Pam no I'm sorry by Minister Shamika Carter. Kato, I'm sorry I, a little squirrel there I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Cato, and uh, the selection, the first selection, will be by Reverend Eddie, is that McElwain? Okay, and um, we will move in that order, and whatever the Lord say do in between, we will be in order. Is that right? Amen. Because we are here, first of all, to follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. And to praise God for his gift of Sister Mamie Chavis. Amen. 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 Our New Testament, uh, excuse me, our Old Testament scripture is recorded in Psalms 23, as recorded by David. It reads on thus wise, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads us beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Yes. Thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou maketh, thy, excuse me, that prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemy. My, my cup runneth over. Yes, yes. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my yes, life. Yes. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 A New Testament scripture as recorded by Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting at verse number 6. He says to Paul, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. He says, I have fought a good fight. He says, I have finished my course. Yes, yes. I have kept the faith. Yes. He says, henceforth there is laid up for me yes. a crown of righteousness, yes. which the Lord, the righteous yes. judge, yes. shall give me at that day. Yes. And not only unto me, he said, but unto all of them that love his appearance. Yes. The word of God for the people of God. Thank Amen. You. Amen. 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 We will now hear tribute by class of 53, my sister Rosetta C. Thomas. The door. First, giving honor to God who's the head of my life. I want to thank you all for being here. This tribute is from the class of 53. It says, first it was a card. It says, Dear Chavis family, with many thoughts and deepest sympathies, love, 
the Forest Street High School class of 1953. Mm -hmm. The Road to Eternity. Life is but a stepping place, mm. but a stopping place, I'm sorry. A pause in what's to be. A resting place along the road to sweet eternity. We all have different journeys, different paths along the way. We all were meant to, to learn something, but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place for greater than we know. For some, the journey quicker. For some, the journey slower. And when the journey finally ends, we'll claim a great reward mm -hmm. and find an everlasting peace together with the Lord. Although the journey has ended for our loving classmate and friend, Mamie Curtin Chavis, her memories will last forever in the hearts and minds of those who knew and loved her dearly. Bar Street High, class of 1953. Amen. 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 I want to thank the class of 1953. I want to thank Ms. Polly Jackson, and I want to thank each and every one of you. And I know it's not the opportunity, but you said to go. Yes, so yeah, I surely do. I want to thank all of you who call my mom continuously. Ms. Bertha, I didn't meet you until yesterday. Yeah. Of course, Hattie mm -hmm. May, who drove, came down, set aside six hours and got back on the road. Polly, who called every day. Friends who called me, came in, helped me. I can't leave out. Mommy! <laughs> Baby, every week. It's so many of y'all, I won't be able to get the Facebook posts. I always think about her. And it's from um, all of us because, you know, I'm not counting my family out because they were there. So that's what we do. That was our job. The phone calls. My kids, I'm not going to leave y'all out. My brothers. They came, and my uncle called her, well, her brother called her every day. She waited on that call, waited on it religiously. Her grandson showing up, I don't care if they're on the road, come back. My aunt, my, her, her how I say, sister-in-law would call just to, just to face through FaceTime. I would message just checking on her, and I pray I'm not leaving out anybody. If I did. Charge it to my head, mm -hmm. not my heart. Amen. Amen. I appreciate all of you. Thank y'all. We will now be blessed with a selection by Reverend Eddie McElwain and a prayer of comfort will follow by Reverend Sharice Ingram then a selection from Shafan Johnson, then I will come back before you with words of comfort in that order. Praise God to this family. We have our condolences and we heartful prayers of going up before you at this hour. We thank God for you and I don't know that uh, Request of a song that was sent to me. I'm going to try to do a little bit for you. Right. Amen. 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 Some of the time of Curtis Mayfield used to sing, People Get Ready. Uh -huh. yes, yes. There's a train. Yes, it's coming. coming. People get ready. There's a train coming. You don't need no ticket. You just get on yeah. board. Yes, yes. All you need is faith yes. to hear that train come in. You don't need no ticket. Yeah. You just thank the Lord. People get ready. There's a train yes. come in. Yeah. yeah. Get us get on board, oh Lord. 
All you need is faith. Yes. Hear that piece of humming. You don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yes. Lord.
Because, Lord, she was good, she was kind, she was funny, she was everything you made her to be. But now, God, we ask in the name of Jesus that her family, that you wrap them up in your love. Yes. When it's nighttime, they get lonely. Lord, fill that void yes. with memories of her laughter. Fill that void with memories of everything good that she did with them and for them. And, Lord, when they wake up the next day and realize she's not there. Put a smile on their faces because they know where she is. Yes. She's no longer on this earth hurting. She's no longer on this earth in pain. She's no longer on this earth having to deal with all the bad things. But God, right now, she has a new body. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. She has a new body. A new, everything is new, God. From the top of her head to the bottom of her Bless this family, Lord. Keep them. And Lord, bless us all to know. When Eddie just saying that people get ready because you are coming. Yes, yes. yes. You're coming. Yes. Help us to be ready. In your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Oh. 
We ask that you would allow her life to continue the very life that she touched. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Her living was not in vain. A life that was not in vain might look differently. It might look differently to various people. Depending on their perspective and on their value system. But what is all what it always means is that a person has gone through life and accomplished things. Those things may not necessarily be huge accomplishments in terms of science, industry, or humanitarian terms, but almost and always in terms of relationships in terms of lives that they touched, mm -hmm. in terms of changes that they brought forth by the love that they give. We don't have to read on a billboard, but their lives testify that their living was not in vain. Their lives testify that they impacted and uh, other individuals in the world and not necessarily on the world as a whole, but please understand that life, life is often deceptive in the course of its living. What I'm saying is we get so wrapped up in our day-to-day -day activities and the business of our lives that it's easy to lose sight of what really matters in life. If we aren't careful, we might begin to believe that doing things that are pleasing to the world system is what life is all about. But the fact of the matter is, little we can do in this world makes such a difference as what we do for the Lord. Amen. King Solomon said it best. He said, to have been, he was said to have been a wise man. And one of the wisest men that ever lived Solomon testified and knew this to be true. He said, that the truth of the matter is, when we die, our work will continue and improve, be approved upon the lives that we touch by others and all the time and energy that we spent, all the life energy that we gave pouring out of ourselves will soon be forgotten. But what we Lynn, what we give, what we spread out mm -hmm. to other people will always count. Mm -hmm. So this afternoon, we latch on to what Sister Mamie Chase has left for us. Let us latch on to her goodness. Let us latch on to her gentleness. Let us latch on to her kindness. And Above everything else, let us latch on to her faith in God. Uh -huh. And we re remember those things that life exemplified, her life exemplified. Let us remember those things and allow them to be amplified in our own lives. Uh -huh. And allow your hearts to testify her living was not in vain. On behalf of God's servant, I won't be before you long, but I want to, on behalf of God's servant, Sister Mamie Chavis, I testify before you that she would say, I won't have much money to leave. And I won't leave behind money. committed life. I want to leave you with my love and my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that was reflected in the life that I lived before you. I want somebody during my home going sermon 
doing the homeborn service. I would like for somebody to mention on that day that Mamie tried to give her life serving others. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to mention that Mamie loved everybody. Uh -huh. I want somebody to mention that Mamie was an educator. I want somebody to mention that Mamie was always patient and approachable. I'd like somebody to say that Mamie was a nurturer. She believed in looking after others. I would like somebody to say that Mamie was particularly interested in educating those with behavioral problems, those with special needs, those that others didn't want to take time out for. Mm -hmm. I would like for somebody to mention that Mamie dearly loved and tried to protect her children. William, Deborah, Michelle, or Michael, and Rosette. Stephon. Stephon. Let, let's put Stephon in. Where's Stephon? Stephon? Charge it to my heart. <laughs> Stephon. Amen. Amen. So, I would like for somebody to say that Mamie's life was a testament. Mamie's life was a testament. That if I can help somebody mm -hmm. as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a well song, if I can show somebody they're traveling wrong, then my living is not in vain. So I wonder how many of you can testify that Sister Mamie helped you along the way. Can anybody testify that she showed you the way? Can anybody testify she told you when you traveled the wrong way? Can anybody testify that Sister Baby would wrap her loving arms around you, tell you when you were right, tell you when you were wrong, hold you in and shelter you and let you know that God is still able no matter how far you fall, God and pick you up. Yes, you can serve a God that when you're down, he'll reach down, pick you up, turn you around, Amen. and place your feet on solid ground. Is there anybody in here who can testify that you wouldn't be who you are today had it not been for Sister Mary Chase? Is there anybody in here who can tell that Sister Mary in the secret place of her heart will witness to you that it's going to be all right. Witness to you. If you're holding your hand in God's hand, God will make everything all right. That will witness to you. You may be down today, but you can be up tomorrow. If you just hold on and hold on to God's unchanging hand, that everything would be all right. So I want to, I want to encourage you. I want you to take what she gave to you. Take what she, she birthed into your life to live on. Allow it to live on through your life that her living would not be in vain in your life. God bless you. Amen.
My friends, the final resting place for Ms. Langley Chambers will be in the Lancaster Memorial Park Cemetery. And for those of you that will be traveling in the procession with us, please use your flashes and drive your stream kit. Also, my friends, we're asking you to load your transportation as quickly as possible. Thank you. My friend, have a couple of ladies.